The year is 2024. The new year has already begun. You haven't set any of your goals yet. Maybe you're stuck in some semi-negative cycles, and maybe you haven't finished those end of your tasks that you promised yourself that you'd get to. The sun doesn't come out much. Maybe you waste away in your bed sometimes. Maybe it's nearing the end of January and your room looks like this. And maybe you're letting the pressure of needing to have it all together at the very start of the year get to you and now you're just facing task paralysis. And then just maybe you realize, what is time anyway? So let's just get it together now. And all drama aside, let's start with something easy. Let's make our vision board. So in 2024, I am looking to accomplish a few things, but particularly one thing that is an overarching goal of mine is to heal and find healing in numerous areas of my life. And I came across this video slash podcast the other day about clutter and childhood trauma and how messiness and hoarding of items or whatever it may be is connected to a trauma response in some way. And I moved a lot as a kid, so I reflected on this naturally after watching this video slash podcast. And this doctor shared her own research about how people with traumatic experiences at a young age do have these nesting habits of making messes and can't keep their space clean or can't let go of certain items. And that very, very much resonated with me. There was so much more that I could probably share, but I'm not the doctor, so I will gladly link it down in the description. And I have always, always dealt with myself and being messy. And I've always just kept things, made piles of things, and cannot keep my space clean for the effing life of me. So I decided to embark on the journey of decluttering everything. And I mean literally from the corner of my closet to the cupboards in my bathroom to folding every sock that I've been avoiding for the past six months. So step one, let's declutter and clean the shit up. Okay, the makeup cupboard. There's makeup in here that I haven't touched since 2020, 2019. It needs to go. to take this up a notch by cleaning out the things. I think I should go wash it in the sink with like soap and a sponge because that stuff is not clean. So that did the trick. I have this fantasy of being a minimalist and because like when it comes down to it I actually don't need a lot of stuff. I think no nobody really does. And even with my makeup and my hair, like I'm pretty minimalist when it comes to just like everything now. So I don't know why I hold on to too much stuff. So that's kind of my goal with this declutter is like just to really let go. cupboard it's organized now it's just keeping it like this will be my challenge this is a bin of miscellaneous things that I need to still like go through and throw away that will be complete before the night because I'm trying not to leave little piles for myself because I always make a little pile of things that I think I'm gonna take care of later and then I just don't get to it um, another thing is I got this shower head filter for Christmas and I should just put it on. It has all these layers of filtration and the rain shower head. So I'm gonna take that bad boy off. Um, and 
one of my goals this year was to incorporate more luxurious experiences at home because why not? I gotta make sure to take this with me when I move. Oh, welcome to your new luxury experience, it says. Installing in the box. Before installation, remove rinse water through your new filter for 60 seconds. Flip the capsule and repeat for another 60 seconds. Best to take this off and then clean out the debris with a toothbrush. This is just like a toothbrush I got off Eva Airlines. I'm scared what's gonna be discovered in here. Oh, not bad. Wow. Now it's time for my closet, which I was thinking like one does not need as many sweatshirts as I have. And I think it's just time to let go of some of them. Like ultimately I have all these clothes that I just like run through and then I just have way too much laundry to do. And then the laundry piles up and then there's just too much to deal with. So I think it's time to let it go. White essential sweatshirt that I thought I already got rid of, gone. Random black sweatshirt, gone. Brown Aritzia sweatshirt, you can keep. Black essential sweatshirt. One thing that came up in the video that kind of ignited this movement for myself was the notion of getting rid of shame clothing. Any clothing that I think I'm gonna fit into or like once I lose weight, I'll wear it or like it'll look better on me like it's just time to get rid of those and that is okay to the next day and today wasn't my best day I've been really struggling to sleep and honestly I feels this sounds very dramatic but it feels a little bit like my demise right now I have been trying to get into a routine this new year I mean it's only midway through January but I've been trying so hard to get into a routine and I have been struggling so hard to sleep and it just hitting so hard how important and crucial sleep is to our lives and I haven't been getting the best sleep so last night I started you know my decluttering and cleaning last night and I could not could not go to sleep for many reasons on top of that my puppy Kuma would not sleep either and he was just up all night he was crying he wanted to play he was just more awake he had a little nocturnal moment last night and honestly, that, that's also why I've been struggling to get into a routine is having a new puppy, dog, mom, life, and navigating that, working from home, and just not sleeping. And that's honestly probably my underlying issue of all of this is just I do not get good sleep. Finally trying some new things. And I feel like I've tried a lot. And there's a few key things that I knew that I already have been given advice about and I knew that I should we have to kick this to the curb because I have too many things I want to accomplish this week, this year, this month, every day, every day. So we gotta, we gotta figure this shit out. I got the loops earplugs. I'm getting ads for this on Instagram for like concert headphones. Um, I'm really in my protecting my hearing moment this past year, um, especially going to my first festival, but this is what it looks like this this is the loop quiet so it's supposed to be obviously best for sleep and ultimate noise cancellation it's very cute packaging target demographic has indeed been reached apparently these are good because you can fold them into your ear oh that's nice and my current earplugs don't fold into my ear like these ones do 
I think these ones are a little too big. So I can't really sleep on my side and I am a big side sleeper. Last item that I'm very excited for that I've been wanting to get for quite some time is this pillow that I discovered on TikTok. It's that, is it's the cervical pillow actually on a sale today. It was just meant to be. The memory foam cervical pillow. Let's let, let's let the air in this bad boy. It's supposed to help with neck support, side sleeping, because I tend to roll over and then smush my face. So I'm gonna let this gain its air and then show you later. It looks so funny. It looks like a big, like... I've been restarting 75 hard, like every couple days because of this situation with my sleep. And frankly, I'm just trying not to get sick because I know if I don't sleep and then I push myself, I will ultimately get sick because sleep deprivation decreases your immune function. I'm not trying to do that. So I've been trying to be intuitive whereas that goes. I thought it would be lovely to kind of do my first evening of really great, of a really great, great like wind down sleep routine because I want to practice better sleep hygiene, obviously. So I'm actually gonna do a little like romantic get ready for bed. <laughs> Just, I'm like, anything helps, please. Some things to make a little mocktail before we sleep, heart cherry juice, magnesium, and I'm gonna make a little mocktail. I'm gonna eat something first, make my mocktail, do my routine in the bathroom. <laughs> I'm so, <laughs> and then we're gonna, we're, we are, getting out of this little funky time tomorrow, okay? that what it feels like when you have a good sleep? <laughs> that was good. I, I didn't get as much sleep as I wanted to. I did go to bed a little later because I had to eat and then I ate way too much. Oh, it's 5.41 right now. Um, but I did a sleep meditation before bed and it did take me a minute to fall asleep, I will say. I think I have, a, I have a wind down time of when I'm in bed, so I think that's why I literally need to be in bed for at least an hour to like do my shutting down process. 5.42 right now, and um, I have Legree. 6 a.m., let's see how far. I put my workout clothes out last night, so I didn't have to think about it, so let's get ready. every intention to <laughs> vlog during class today, but I was just too busy getting my ass kicked. I truly feel great and I'm just gonna ride this high today. I'm a little tired, but I did take my caffeine tablet. It's 100 milligrams of caffeine with some L-theanine in it, in the capsule as well. So 100 milligrams, I feel okay still drinking like a little matcha. I was shaking and struggling in class, but it, it's that that's a good thing. Um, I booked another class for Sunday and then Tuesday, I believe. But um, I am headed back home now. I'm gonna go get Kuma ready for some walking. on and it's getting tight. I need to probably order him one today. He's growing so fast. Kind of tight here. I had to open it up a little bit while he looked like that. He's I'm gonna leave the camera here so I can focus on the little man.
I actually cut my meditation short because I was a little anxious about needing to get ready because I have a meeting in Seattle at 11 and it's about 9.45 and I just, I think my hair is already done. I was just anxious about wanting to get ready because I really want to be on time. Uh, punctuality is something I'm working on. So I was a little anxious about that and it just was playing over and over again in my head during my meditation. And I was just like, I'm not, I'm, I'm really resisting myself and trying to be present in this meditation. So I'm gonna, we're, we're gonna have to do an evening meditation, which is fine. I'm gonna do an evening meditation before bed. And then my visualization exercise too before bed. Um, Cause I didn't get to do it this morning. Our meeting was originally at 12. So I had mentally planned to do all of this in the morning, but we pushed it up an hour early. So I must get ready. And then Kuma is also coming with me because we're going to a dog friendly cafe. And then I have an open house today at, well, so I'm meeting at 12, probably about an hour. I have to come home, do some admin work on the computer, have an open house at three to 5 p.m. And then I'm actually gonna go pick up my little sister because she wanted to go see Mean Girls, which I heard mixed reviews about. So it's it's more so gonna be to spend time with my little sister, of course. Busy ass day ahead of us. I almost forgot, but <laughs> I gotta take a cold shower. So I'm making it the coldest again. Oh, the pile! I never took care of the pile. <laughs> I was screwed. I didn't record that because that was dramatic. But that was cold. Usually I do a pretty good job, and I usually make it to five minutes. My parameter is three and a half to five minutes, and I did three and a half because <laughs> it was cold today. Let's get ready. And I'm running out of some of my face products. I just ran out of vitamin C, which is a little unfortunate because I could use some brightening. Let's see if there's any. Oh, there's like a drop in there. I've been using the Paula's Choice. I really like it. I like mixing it with my moisturizer. <laughs> My moisturizer's almost gone too. I got all my Laneige products at the Duty Free when I was in Asia. And I love buying <laughs> skincare at Duty Free because obviously no tax. And sometimes the currency, for the most part, is a little cheaper. Anyway, I have to, I wanna get out of here in like 20 minutes because I have to pack up Kuma as well. So I'm gonna do my makeup and then I'll see you guys when we head out the door. house now and it's been a busy day so far but I actually I went to coffee slash lunch snack and met with Rani who's my real my, my previous real estate mentor she still kind of is but we're partnering up on a lot more things this year which I'm really excited for I didn't vlog anything at the cafe because I was so into our conversation which is a good thing um but anyway, I'm at one of her listings now hosting an open house. It's also a Friday. So I'm not necessarily sure if there will be lots of traffic. Fridays are hit or miss with open houses, but I'm also, I'm also hosting one tomorrow, 11 to 1. Weekends are better, um, but sometimes I like these Friday open houses because just you, different, different sets of crowds come in when they do. It's always fun to see because the weekend crowd's always like, Typically families, things like that. But this this listing in particular is a condo and it is on the older end. I'm here at the open house. Hopefully we get some buyers today. Um, but what I'd like to do is sit and do some work on my computer when I do have some downtime. So we're gonna do that. I picked up my little sister and we're here at a vegan Thai restaurant. Oh, thank you so much. We just put in an order, but it's been really nice. We've just been chatting. My sister is almost 14 now, so I'm having like really grown conversations with her. It's kind of crazy. It's good, it's good. I feel like my head's really in the room. Oh, cup.